everybody, Satyrian Leaf Spar here. This is going to be a BJD introduction and bio video for little Louie here. He is an Impel Doll Ives in the baby category. I'll go air quoting again. On their website, when I say baby category, if you look at their website, their dolls are broken up into a couple of different sections. He is, like I said, in the baby category. He is not my newest doll. If you look way back here, right there, that is Liam, and right up there is Phelan. They are basically my newest. His body came in with their order completing him. Those, like I said, those are my newest, but he, Louie, this video is all about him. And welcome to the new kind of backdroppy space that I have been working on painstakingly now for the past couple of days. I'm going to try to do this style of video for each one of my characters. I'm not going to say this will be their final bio or final introduction video. It's a work in progress for each one of my characters, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while to give each one of my viewers, each one of my subscribers, a really good feel on what my characters are about, who they are, what they mean to me, in the sense of where they live in my headspace. So I do have notes based off a really old BJD character tag that I modified a really long time ago back when I very first got into the hobby. I apologize that I cannot reference or tag the original creator. It's been far too long and I do not remember, but I can give a massive shout out. He is being washed out to Joshua Nichols, Joshy Bear Huggies, for his blushing and face up, though. Maybe in post-production editing, I can bring some of his color back, but he's gorgeous. Anyways, I'm going to run down the questions. I'll put the questions down below in case you want to do this for one of your characters. And as I run through the questions, I'll kind of let you know which one of these questions that I added to this to kind of make this my own for my own personal use. But his age, he's really old. He is a vampire. But... He's about six or seven in appearance, and that's about how old he was when he was turned. If you're curious as to when I got him, he arrived to me about, well, I ordered him on January the 3rd. You'll have to look at the unboxing date as to far as when he came to me, but I'll put it down here below if you're really, really that curious. Height. Um, he's just under four feet. He's kind of smallish for his age, I believe. I don't know that a whole lot about six or seven years old. Six or seven year olds. I would say he's just under four feet. Weight. Um, he's well fed. For. Well, he was well fed for a human. And he still needs to be wired as bjd but he's got a belly on him and as a vampire he stays well fed because of the lovely william who who looks after him so he does not go hungry because we don't need a ravenous little fiend roaming around His race, he is a European Caucasian little man. He was born 
because his birthplace is the next question. He was born in Europe. His death place was Europe. So that is the next question, the death place. Um, because of the way these questions work, it kind of gives you an opportunity to plot out your characters if you are writing the story. So a lot of times you're not able to answer all of these questions. But for him, he died in Europe. The cause of death. He died in a vampire feeding den, poor little boy. He still has a, I don't have like a strong sense of smell, but like I can, I feel like the fumes in, his, in my nose. But he, yes, he died in a vampire feeding den. I'll get way down into this here in a minute. His parents, they were lost during the Black Plague both of them love interest he has lots of stuffed animals but that's all I would say that he has a love for William he has a love for the care that William provides I'm not going to say that He loves William in a fatherly way because I really don't think that's it. He loved his father. He loved his mother. He does not see William as a surrogate father yet. And I do not know if he ever would. His occupation He's a child. He will always be seen as a child. He is stuck as a child visually, therefore he will never have the opportunity to work. Hobbies is the next question, and this I haven't really figured out for the boy. I don't know what he will do. I haven't really figured this out in my head. I know that his his demeanor is mischievous. You can just see it in that face. I'm going to have to work on my lighting. I'm way too washed out over here. But he is very mischievous. He also likes to play jokes and play pranks on people. But I'm not exactly sure what hobbies he's going to have quite yet. The next question is strengths. In the original tag, the next two questions were strengths, weaknesses, and the, and, the ne and the next one was enemies. These did not exist, and I added these. Strengths, weaknesses, and enemies. So strengths for him, when he bites or feeds on someone, he... Can obtain the knowledge and knowledge and skills of that person for a brief period of time so if they're innately good at something he can gain those skills from that per the person for a period of time or if they know something be it intimate knowledge personal knowledge or knowledge about something he can kind of learn that from them just from feeding off of them weaknesses because he was turned as a small child he's not as sturdy as say someone that was a turned as an adult so he's a little more delicate and frail enemies he's got enemies of almost everyone the other vampires completely and utterly abhor and hate him. Children that were turned are considered an abomination. So William is about his only friend. Friends of William tolerate his existence and William doesn't have many either. So other vampires hate him. 
humans, naturally, because he's a vampire, hate him. He does not have many friends at all. So children that are turned are considered an abomination if they live through the change. No friends other than William and the friends of William. School. He only completed a little bit of education in the primaries. The primary, I think they're called primary schools in the European school system. After he was turned, he basically went into hiding once he got with William, and then William would have taken over any formal ed or informal education he would have had thereafter. The next two questions are goals. He really has no lifelong goals at this point other than to survive. Then we have Keystone Artifact. This is one of my questions because a lot of my characters have what I call a Keystone Artifact. A Keystone Artifact is something that is generally magical in nature that they carry with them that has some effect on their supernatural behalf. Like my character David, which is a werewolf. It's a pendant, which prevents him from fully changing and he can't take it off. This little guy has no keystone artifact. He's just a little vampire, a little vampire orphan. So, now we get into Timeline, which talks a little bit about his birth, life, death. We're going to get into birth itself. He was born into a regular average family where his father was a dock worker on the ships who helped load the dock or load the ships themselves. And his mother who actually had a job herself. She would go into and clean houses for people that would fall ill or fall sick, not necessarily during plague times or anything like that, just would generally fall sick with colds or fever or illness and would find themselves unable to take care of their own houses and she would do that for money to help, you know, just take care of their homes. Make ends meet, do what they could. He could even remember because they were very grateful for what she would do. Coming home with, you know, sweets and goodies and even toys just being grateful for what she had done and helping these families through their times of illness. So moving on from the point in which he was born and being raised and into childhood given he only made it to about seven years old but he still has a really good memory of his childhood. We move into the point of basically plague times. He can remember his mother coming home, her being the first one to get sick. She was taking care of these homes of people being sick, so she was the first to get sick. I'm trying not to fall over my own words here. She was the first one to get sick. First it was just a small cough, then it was just her head hurting. And then there was naturally the coughing up of blood. And then she was taken away. His father was next. And he did not actually get sick. He was taken to St. Catherine's Orphanage. That is not a real place. If it was a real place, I have no clue. Something I just came up with in my head. I really like the name Catherine. I plan on having a doll named Catherine. <clears throat> hopefully to shell actually into a nun before I get off topic. Once both of his parents died, he was taken into an orphanage. He is still human at this point. He keeps trying to break out of this orphanage. He's very mischievous. 
even as a human, he is mischievous. He was not being mistreated. He was not being abused by the orphanage. He just wants to go home. He finally breaks out of the orphanage. I need some water. Okay, so he finally breaks out of the orphanage. He's, like I said, he's not being mistreated. He's not being abused. He just wants to go home. Other than that's where he grew up. Six, seven years, happy family. They both died rather quickly. His mother first, then his father. As he's going home, he gets snatched. He gets taken to an unfamiliar place. It's nothing but, unfortunately, a den, group of vampires, they're doing unsavory things, they're feeding on kids. Why are they feeding on kids? It's plague times. They're not feeding on plague victims. It's unsavory blood. Byproduct is, after an un you know, an unpleasant length of time, he eventually gets turned by accident and lives through it. William happens across the den by invitation because they were keeping kids there to feed on them, which is not supposed to happen. And little Louie here gets saved by William. Louis tags along and stays with William almost permanently, if not indefinitely, which is probably what will happen. It's not been determined yet, but that is probably going to be the recourse because William develops an affinity for Louis, and Louis has developed an affinity for William. It's not love. Neither one of them necessarily have the emotion for it. They're just kind of drawn to one another. Neither one of them have fam family left at this point. But this is years ago, back during plague times. And by the time in which my story really, really picks up, it will have been years and years and years later, I do believe. If I don't keep my story in that era for all of my characters, which has been a debate because I still haven't hammered down the time or the era for my characters. So this has been an introduction to the little Louie, the very washed out Louie, and the bright lights back here. And it's been 20 minutes. So welcome to the new space. Welcome to Louie. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Hope you all have a great night. This is Satyrian Leafs Bar. Love yourself. Love each other. Love your dolls. Everybody else is too.